Welcome everyone to Silent Hill 2. Um, I've been wanting to play this for y'all for quite some time. Um, but I wanted to do it right with the original copy of Silent Hill 2. I do have a copy, did have a copy from the original Xbox that I've had for ever. But I wanted to play the original for you guys in its original form. Um, and so I finally picked up a copy and, uh... Yeah, with the upcoming release of the remake of this game, I decided before I play that, when it comes out, sometimes this, this year or next year, whenever it comes out, that I would play this first for y'all. So, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. And I'm just going to do easy, because that's what I remember playing is <laughs> when I was younger. So, let's get started. spend hours in here just listening to this music. Yeah, this white noise is an oddly calming track for me. Brings back memories. <laughs> okay, let's get going. dreams. I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? Man, such a classic monologue. I'm pretty sure I could. I'm pretty sure I have half that, if not the entire thing, memorized. I just love it. 
I will say, I've not really played the first game. The only time I played it was on the PS3. Um, and I played maybe like one fourth of the game. So I might, I might pick a copy up of that and do that for you guys as well. Um, I've probably played about half of the third game. I haven't played any of the other games except for Homecoming, and I didn't really enjoy that one. So we'll see. I'll probably pick up three, either after or before I play the first one, eventually. Ambiance is just perfect in this game. I'm so glad to be able to play this for y'all. I'm just gonna have to test to see if I remember where everything is. <laughs> Ooh, safe spot. Um, see, I've played maybe a fourth of this just to get used to it again, you know going through the apartment blocks. But I'm starting over. And yes, I did sit on the screen for a few hours. <laughs> That's why it's at 11 hours. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Okay. And just so you know, you, in my opinion, should play this game in the 3D style with good old tank controls because that's just you have to play it that way you have to Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I no, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but... There's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This... Uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the... Fog either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just, I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm looking for someone. Who, who, who is it? Someone. Very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but... I can't find them either. I I'm sorry. It's not no, your problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Okay. Come on. Let me guys know how you guys feel about this game if you grew up with it 
if you only recently played it or if you don't know anything about it just let me know about it. I'd, I'd like to hear what you guys think Yay, the non-comic sans <laughs> wording. You love to see it, you love to see it. It's already been 11 minutes. Oh, come on. Don't fail me now, PlayStation 2 controller. <laughs> Dang, I look down for one second and I run into a fence. played this game with headphones in and ambiance top tier <laughs> especially for this time it's it's pretty good to the town is these marks. Blood? Who's there? It's a shadow just now. I'm gonna get it. And you can't stop me. Come back here. Oh man, Jamesers get so slow when you don't want to run. safe spot. But first, we have to pick up the health. That'll definitely come in handy later. It's only so, so <laughs> it's already been almost a month, half a month since I first got the game. I've been busy, I've been busy.
Spooky. Get over here. Gotta take advantage of those analog buttons. Oh. There we go. Is it dead? What the hell what is the it? What the hell is it? It's not human. This thing broken? What the? I better take it anyway. I might need it. Sure we will, sure we will. I do want to tell you guys that, uh, due to the nature of this game, I will be a little more quiet. <laughs> no. No. Uh-oh. No. You're not going anywhere. Go down Martin Street. If I remember right. These houses do feel similar to the houses along that one street in Soho one. I, r I really do need to pick up a copy of Silent Hill One. It just it's just such an expensive game nowadays. It can be upwards of like two hundred dollars just to get a copy of the game. I'm not paying that kind of money, y'all. <laughs> I'm just a simple college boy. <laughs> health drink. Where's that damn Sound Hill bug? Sound like he's on a unicycle. Just a cockroach on a unicycle. Nope. Just gonna ignore that. 
No, oh, thank you. I don't. I, I don't need your help. It's the bug. Where is it? Ah! Get back here. That's what I thought. You don't scare me. Hello. Hello. A door that wakes in darkness, opening into nightmare. Nightmares. Uh, the dreaded apartments. One of the parts of the game that took me forever the first couple times I played it. Because it can be a somewhat labyrinthian type of experience. But let's get in there. Ooh, it's a little dark for you guys. Bring that up a little. It is supposed to be dark. Eventually I'll find the flashlight. Let's save for now. Even this, like, menu. It's just nostalgic for me. It's a cozy area for me. Help drink. Um, you know what? I will keep that brightness up. Might as well. Because <laughs> I can't see shit. Okay. I suppose that's the point. Oh, there we go. Pure pitch blackness. Nope, it's going this way. Leave it this way. That is a no. Let's not get lost now. That sucks. Well, that's rough. Guess I'll do it this way instead. So no, I do gotta go this way.
Yay! Is there anything here? I do believe that is it. Now I can explore to my to the fullest. Now can I go this way? You know, I guess I could go ahead and turn around. Start exploring more down the hall. Since so I can, since I can actually see now. Oh okay, yeah, let's head upstairs. Don't appreciate that spooky ambiance. Where did it it off? <laughs> Man, I love this game. Unfortunate. What's with the spooky ambiance, guys? It's not nice. <laughs> oh. That's a door I can into go into. Oh, it's the gun. Yay, I can Pock the enemies full of bullet holes now. Oh yeah, can't you turn off the flashlight for like a circle? Oh, you don't want to do that. That is so loud. <laughs> And unnecessary. Which one? The second one? Yeah, the second one's locked. Okay. Oh, hi there, Pyramid Head. Man, I love this game. <laughs> you guys can't tell. <laughs> Which I know you can, because I've made it pretty obvious at this point. Oh, hi. Well, anyone could have. Oh, hi. Oh, I didn't even see what that was. I think it's a 208.
Hey! It's my good old friend Clock Puzzle. I'll be back for you. So I believe that key said too late. We can check real quick. 202. Gotcha. Oh, I got it in room 208. Two oh two. It's right down there. Okay. Hello. all this fencing for oh hi is that a safe spot nope just some creepy red light you know the use for this town apparently Too dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the side of this hole. Let's check! Now I can go do the clock puzzle. Yay! Don't you guys just love puzzles? Well, if I remember right, the pu the clock puzzle is not really that hard. But you guys can't wait for the orange box juice or Wait, what? <laughs> Orange juice box. The most stupidest part of this game. Most ridiculous part of this game. Yes, yes. Yep. Understood. Um, let's use this bad boy. For sure, I already know where it points, but you know, for for new people's sake, so Henry is at nine o'clock, Mildred is at fifteen set minutes, and Scott is stuck if I remember right. So two or nine fifteen. <laughs> Yay! Or 910, I should say, actually. Durr. Then you just come around, first look at the writing, and then push that clock. Yeah, baby. Hello? Ooh, I'll drink. Yeah, I can save. I'll go for a little longer and then I'll end it. Oh. Oh. Is 
staircase. Well, I don't find it necessary at the moment. I'll just take the rest. Oh, never mind. That's the other side of Pyramid Head. Well, where he was. So I guess I will. Because I do need to go down to the first floor, if I remember correctly. Since that was locked. And that's locked as well, so I guess I won't. Third floor it is. Not that I ever really used the handgun in this game. I'm just gonna go through here if you don't mind me. Okay. I don't know if you guys noticed, but while that was playing, I did actually manually just up the brightness. Um, because it was a little dark. I can't remember if there's really anything I could do in here. Because I really do think this area was just really introduced Pyramid Head. And there's the key. Come on. Fire escape key. Oh, there's something in there, I think. Maybe. Yes. Ammo. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. Is anyone there? Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, I'm back here. Oh, wait. Is it what? This might actually be a different spot. Yeah, this is a different end of the building. Okay. I'm not going crazy. Now that's unlocked. Ah, the box of juice. Can juice. Yay! Everyone's favorite puzzle. Guess we'll do that first. So that I don't end this off and then forget to do it next time I play. So, what you do is you run all the way back to the front, and then once you put it down the chute, you'll go back to that corner, that little nook. say the d-pad a little weird to play with that I remember but then again I played with the Xbox controller version so that doesn't say much <laughs> that isn't saying much so open your inventory and use that And voila, you have finished one of the most cryptic and ridiculous puzzles in Silent Hill history, in my opinion. Then you come in here, and hey, looky there, you got a coin. But there's also a, a news story. The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locaine and his sister Miriam, committed suicide, <laughs> suicide in his jail cell earlier on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a spoon, a soup spoon, to stab himself in the neck, severing his carotid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches deep in his neck. An old school made of Walter Sullivan's from a school down a Pleasant River said, He didn't look like the type of guy who would kill some kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurred and out all sorts of crazy and strange stuff. He's trying to kill me. He's trying to punish me. The monster. The red devil. Forgive me, I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate said, added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, that was an annoying puzzle as a kid. I felt both like an idiot and f felt kind of pissed off with the game. Or at least the developers. For making that one of the most cryptic puzzles I've ever had to do in any game ever. <laughs> oh, childhood memories, I swear. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll just end it off here for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you come back for the next episode. See you guys in the next video.